Okay, so this is part two of my Megazord thing. I went ahead and opened the uh, other Legacy Megazord, the old one, to compare it to the other one. So this is the new one. And this one is the old one. So this is the old Legacy Megazord. <coughs> the Tyrannosaurus, sorry. Um, see, the legs are shiny and metal. Let's just them side by side. Side by side, uh, this one is a little bigger. This one has its knees bent a little. Also, this one's head is slightly bigger. The tail is longer on this one. And this one's all just one piece. Alright. So let's take a look. First of all, this has crappy little plastic gray arms. Gray plastic arms that don't move. This up and down, and that's it. The mouth opens, but you see, all it is in there, that's just a sticker. However, his head does go all the way, where this one does not. Legs um, permanently have a peg on there for the Megazord transformation. Also, look, look at these tiny little not real shin guards. Look at this, look at this leg. It's a flimsy ass leg. Tail. It's all one piece and look it even has exposed pieces here. Exposed piece. It doesn't have a tip. It just folds up like that. It doesn't bend. It doesn't twist. That's the right Oh yes, of course the legs do not move either. Pretty gone over this one, which is way cooler. Alright. I'm just really comparing size. This is the new saber tooth, which can be posed in a lot of different ways. Just like that, whatever. And this is, <laughs> sadly, the old one. Now, this is really just a glorified McDonald's toy. I mean, this one, the arms move, this one, it's just that. There are no joints, no foot joint, no elbow or knee, just the shoulders. That's it. That's all it does, absolutely nothing. The mouth doesn't open, the head does not spin, the head doesn't turn, it doesn't move. The teeth are independent of each other, they're plastic. They're not really pointy. I mean, here's, here's a close-up of them up close. This one looks far more like the TV show, and this one looks like a toy. Um, neither of them have wheels, though. So it's and most importantly, though, this one had stickers. This was a sticker. This was a sticker. This was a sticker. I actually put it on, I think I put it on backwards the first time. Or upside down. This one? No stickers at all. Oh, that's not a sticker. But it was on this one. This little tiny ass red stick. Uh, this one does have die cast, uh, but only the tail. This, it doesn't extend, it just does this. This does nothing. This is really, you know, like, this is a toy. I don't know why the box says 15 plus on it. I guess because it's metal and it's heavy. But whatever. See the legs? No, back legs are not wheels. Look, you see, you can see the plastic. You can see the molding. Lame. Size comparison. Uh, oh, yeah. This one is definitely bigger. From the side, or from the back. Totally. It's wider. All accounts, it's better. All intents and purposes, it is much better. Alright, next up, my favorite Zord. This awesome thing, the Triceratops with the chain horns. And this, oh my god, it's the worst. Like, okay, so when I bought this original Megazord, the, or the Legacy Megazord, I was so happy. I was ecstatic. I was ecstatic that I finally got the toy that I wanted since I was a kid. I thought it was great. And then I see this and it's like, you know, you get a TV in your room and then you suddenly get a flat screen. Or this is literally like the second lamest one of the legacy.
it does absolutely nothing except this. At least this one has legs. This is this is a McDonald's toy. This, this is uh, again stickers, sticker. Uh, I think these were stickers. I mean, at, at least they're the correct stickers. Yeah. On the original 1993, this had like some weird blue, like space robotic shit on it. And this, I don't know. It didn't say try on it. It was like blue, I don't remember what color it was. But it, was, it wasn't like the show. This is what it says on the show. Uh, but still, this is lame. Head does not move. It just goes up for the boot. Horns are plastic. Remember in the original 93 one, they were chrome, like shiny. This is just gray. And you can see there's exposed molding. They're hollow. They're plastic. Look, even the side of his face. Screws. Really? The claws aren't even sculpted. They're just gray plastic. Like these little nubs or shreds to make it easier to move across carpets or whatever. Gray plastic treads. And then this, like I told you, it's just a solid metal piece. The gun does not move. At least in the 93 one, it moved. But this is metal. And that's all it does. Absolutely nothing. Compared to this, which does all of that stuff. I show in the last video this moves you know the horns come out the head turns around the treads pop out and it becomes bigger like no question this is way better look at the size comparison look how much bigger this one is even even flattened um faces so much more show after like, look at the look at it straight ahead it looks just like the TV show. Look, I even got the mouth to open as well. I told you it opened. No. Alright. Next up. Oh, Pterodactyl. I told you before how oh, I like this one. Because it looks just like the TV show. Now look at this piece of crap. Compare this with this amazing wingspan to this. Yeah. Not even close. Look, this is as far as the wings go. Look at how tiny those are. That is a third of. No, not even. Just look at that. Tiny. This is the most McDonald's toy like ever. If this wasn't metal, this is a McDonald's toy. Completely McDonald's. Look at it. Nothing in the back. It's just gray plastic. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm just glad this wasn't a sticker. I'm glad this is actually metallic and shiny. But it's a mirror. It is a sticker, but it's. I didn't have to put it on. I did have to put this. I had to put that. And this. These were both had to. I had to put all those on. But this I didn't. In the '93 one, this was like weird, like cartoony blue, with like some frost stripes on it. Like if it was reflecting. Wasn't that cool? Well, then there's the feet. Um, I have the cannons for the new one right here. These are the cannons for the new one. They're silvery metallic. And then here's the old one, or the legacy. Also exposed plastic. Never a good thing. And last but not least, the mammoth. Mastodon, sorry. Here's the new one. And here's the old one. As you can see, this one's a little bulkier. A little uh, taller, but... Uh, it's roughly the same size this way. As you can see, see this one has the covering, this one does not. You can see the fists. See the fists in there. This one, the Mastodon's head, is black. This one, it is gray, silverish for some reason. Also, this is the old one. Um, the trunk doesn't move. The horns, or the horns, trunk, uh, tusks are not pointy there. They're neutered plastic, they're that same gray plastic crap. This gray plastic, look, you can see the molding on the inside. Um, but of all the legacy, this is this one's my favorite. Because it has the most that you can do. The T-Rex can do a lot too. I mean, it can stand and move, but this one I like the most. Um, just because it becomes, uh, the way it folds, it's all. 
Um, but here's something that bugs the crap out of me. Okay, first of all, the head. I do love that the Legacy Megazord is very easy to assemble. It's designed to be that way. It's easy. You just plug and play. It's simple. Here's the head. And the thing pops up. It just goes in the hand of the Megazord. It's simple. It's easy. Um, the problem with this is that when you make it into the Megazord, you know, you fold out the arm, uh, fold out the legs, and you split it open. Now, this becomes the arms. Like they go up like this in tank mode. They go up like this. But as you can see, this side is how it's supposed to look. When it's in regular mammoth mode. You want it to look like this. Both are identical. The other side is hollow and crappy. So when you unfold it the proper way, it automatically, the molding is on top. The exposed part is on top, and that's bad. But what makes matters worse is that when you turn it around to be the Megazord, the molding reverses. These arms come off. So I could switch them if I wanted to, if it was that big a deal. But if I did, then the molding, and, well, this one's fine, but the other side is bad. So it's like no matter what, there's always going to be an instance where the molding is showing, and that sucks. But uh, as you can see, the shiny, chromy, this is metal. The arms are completely metal. So the stickers are holographic, whereas in this one, they're straight up yellow. And I think I like this better. The holographic is nice and all, but it's a bit distracting. Okay, so that's all of them individually so now let's go ahead and make the Zord or we'll start with the easier one the show the first thing you see is the um, saber tooth gets down all fours it lays down like this or like this whatever triceratops same thing now see how I didn't have to do anything because they're both so lame <laughs> and then you bring in him and he gets him a, a quick knee to the butt he needs their butt holes. I'll just pop that in. Butt plugs. In the mass now, we already unfolded. Um, it's this way. Yeah, pop him like a backpack. He clips on easily. And then that clips on. Yeah, pop those up. And we'll put them in tank mode right now. Do the Megazord after that. You know, lift up his head a little, and this is what I like about this one is that it's easy to put the mammoth on because there's a the T Rex has a hole right there. You can see you just pop it on, and it just sort of drops, it just sort of falls. Yeah, it just sort of falls there. And you put it on the thingies, the, the things that were the pterodactyl feet or whatever, they just sort of come out of nowhere. And you just put them in the little holes on the mammoth feet. And then you have the pterodactyl, which literally doesn't do anything. Oh, but uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but the pterodactyl, it, it's metal. The head is the only part that's metal. Also, look at how it looks like a Nike shoe. It, does, it looks like a shoe. It's not pointy here. It's not pointy here. It's pretty lame. But I do appreciate how easy it is to put this on. Screw it up, but yeah, you kind of just slide it. Yeah, like that. And yeah, that's tank mode, whatever for the legacy. Let's put him to the side. And now we'll do this one, which is a little bit more complicated. It's the same process, mostly. It's just a little bit more. So we start with the mammoth. That's the one with the most steps because you have to do this. All right, so. Start with him, her, whatever. The, uh, is that all the way in? Yeah. Save a tooth, and then, luckily, they're already done. They're just they're already folded. Uh, for them, you just, oh, shit, I forgot about that. And the little butt luggage. 
Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, in both this and that, there's this little piece here. And you just unfold and it unveils the, the butthole. You just slide it in. No lube required. Same with this one. And you butt plug it. All right. I got those two, and then the mammoth. I already have him open. This one uh, doesn't have any clips on the back like the Tyrannosaurus does around that one. It just sort of has these two little notches here on the bottom, here and there, and they go into these little holes here. It doesn't really hold it sturdy, like it, it comes off easy if you wanted to, but the shoulders go into little ports. Loose, loose notches. Cool thing is the torso can still turn on 360 if I wanted to. Oh, and then there's the secret hidden mastodon latches on the feet. This little spot here on both feet, you just sort of lift it up. And that's where the pterodactyl goes. And this is a pain. Like, really. And for the pterodactyl, I know it's supposed to, the wings are supposed to be folded, but I think it looks much cooler if they're out. I think I got it. Yeah, okay, I got it. So it's on the back. It looks much cooler with the wings on. And then the guns, which are over here, the pterodactyl feet, which are much more proportionally placed. Like, they're smaller like these. They're huge. Like, if you tilt them upwards, it doesn't look right, but that's how they're supposed to look. Supposed to tilt them upwards, and there, where's the hole? There it is. All right, you just put them in both slots, and there you go. I'm gonna use Ortega. Oh, almost forgot. Mammoth, um, Mastodon. Sorry. And no, this does not go into here because there's there is no hole. But there's that little chest piece. The little yellow square on his chest that comes out. And then there's a little tiny notch in there. And this notch up here goes in there. So there we go. It's much more sturdy than that one is. That one just sort of falls. And so there you go. In comparison, one looks way cooler. Let's see size. Size-wise, I believe oops, this one is a bit taller. You can see, mm -hmm. just a little bit taller. Well, that's because the Tyrannosaurus, I think, is a little taller. This one's also much lighter. I can lift this with one hand and not even worry about it. It's about maybe, I don't know, maybe two pounds. Shaking, it, it's not going to move. The legs are not going to move. It's sturdy. I like that. This one, on the other hand, they all the pieces, they have metal in them, like heavy metal. Pretty heavy. It's roughly, roughly five pounds. And you can see that this one is falling because the legs are hinged. The legs have joints in them and they can't support the weight of its saber tooth. That's okay, you're not supposed to lift it. It's a tank. It's in tank mode. It's a tank. You're supposed to roll it. So yeah, that's how they're looking tank modes. I do love that, yes, this one's much sturdier. Now let's activate the Megazord sequence. <clears throat> um, again, I'm going to point out, I don't, I really, really hate this. I really hate that this is exposed right here. Look, it's a hole. It's hollow and it bugs the shit out of me. Whatever. Then we have the magic disappearing thingies. Still bothers me. Like, they just had tanks. They just had nozzles. And then the show has this, it zooms in on this part right here. It says, Megazord sequence has been initiated. You know, it does that whole thing, and it's just a foot here. The other things magically disappeared. And then this flies off. And then here's the part where, oh, of course, this, of course, magically disappears as well. 
it digitizes and then I guess goes away like Optimus Prime's trailer. Actually, you know, I always thought it looked cool with the uh, with the T-Rex head. There we go. Okay, anyway, then he comes in. Oh, the and it does the part where the thing falls down, and then this goes down into the stomach. And it just clips onto there. Now it's the. Is it, And that's the Megazord. Legacy Edition Megazord. And then these cannon thingies. And these go on to these little holes back here. Simple. And there you go. That's the Megazord. Now, putting this thing together is still fun. It's just, it's cool. It's a, something I wanted to do since I was seen in three, five years old. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, you know, Turbo Man. It's like Turbo Man action figure. But it doesn't do anything. It just, just all it does is this. It's arms move. The head does not turn. The legs do not bend. They can bend this way because the T-Rex's legs bend that way. But that's at the knee. It's supposed to bend here. At the foot. It doesn't bend that way. Um, you can't spread its legs. It's this one's been redesigned so that it has a sort of a, a split. The original one just goes straight, and these are much thicker. But that's it. The elbows don't bend, only this part bends because that's how the mammoth is built. Pass it on. Here you got the shield and the sword. Shiny chromey sword thing. I think I put it in the wrong hands, but whatever. And there you go. That's the Legacy Megazord. I really liked this when I bought it. And when I got this, it's just so much cooler. Alright, now let's do this one. Roughly it's the same thing. Just slower. Start with her. Hold the wings in and head in. Put this to the side. Pick up the, the, uh, the cannons that disappear magically. Then you pop the tail out of the butthole. Fold the tip down. And with this secret latch here, I already popped it out. It goes in here. There we go. And then Megasword sequence has been initiated. And and then the fists come out. Interesting, uh, this one, the fists are black. See, they're black. Also, they have a thumb. A, I've never seen an action figure with a posable thumb before. Fingers also uncurl, not all the way though. Would have been great if it came with like um, interchangeable hands. That would have made it the ultimate thing. But it's okay. Oh, and then this guy comes off carefully. That away for later. We'll close the little yellow one. There we go. And then this is also delicate. I don't want to snap anything. It's hard. We've got the heads as far back as they go. There. All right. Touch your toes. Okay. Also on the saber tooth tiger, there is a little switch back here you gotta pull out to create a heel to balance and then you can pull out the chest plate there and that goes down. see this, this is what uh, really worries me you can see how the whole thing is going down but this isn't supposed to move down only that is Worries me sometimes. Like I think it's got to snap off. So like a thin thing of plastic. And now for the pterodactyl, it has these two little hooks in the wings up here. This one's down already. See it? Just pull it down. And it goes into these little holes in the chest up here. 
I like how it has a little bit of a hinge here, so that if you want to move the torso around while this, just to keep this still on, you can, except you have to take the tail off. You can turn it a little bit, but the tail has to be off. There's also another switch down here somewhere. It clicks into the bottom. There we go. And viola. You got the new mega sword. Oh, I forgot the little things. You go on to these notches in the toes of the mammoth's front legs, which are back here. And you go. You got the mega sword. You can see the cannons in the back, which is cool. You can't really see them on this one. Now side by side, let's take a look. So you can see this one's still a little bigger. Also bulkier. You notice like its arms are bulky. It looks more clunky. This one looks a little bit more show accurate. The pterodactyl's not as not as long. The pterodactyl's yeah, the pterodactyl's not as long. Okay. But the legs are much bigger in this one. And of course the main and most important part of this one is that you know, it can actually move. You know, it can move not just at the shoulders. It can move there. It's got hands that can spin and open. You know, it can do this. Its legs can actually bend. It's just a little, it's a little hard. You can do that according to the instruction. It says it does the traditional um, A stance. So like it stands like an A. This one, um, the shoulders can move out. And then the twist part here, it's, a little, you know, it's got the stay of the moon pose, sort of. This one, this is all it can do. This is done. This is it. This is done. This one's much lighter, yet much sturdier. This one, which is pretty heavy. Now, the Tyrannosaurus could do yoga. Pretty sure this one can't, but oh, maybe. I don't know. He's had a long day. He's sitting here, he's chilling, you know? Sitting. He's had a long day. It's hot. He's sitting there chilling, like, yo, what up? Oh, I don't think he's supposed to make that soon. Alright, well, I basically got it. Yeah, there's a lot of balancing acts you have to do, but he can do it. sword over here. Compare this to. Here's his sword. Alright. It's about it's his body. And here, and you notice he is bigger than this. And here's his sword. Much better. It's got the gold in there. It's, it's chrome. It's not metal though. It's, it's plastic. Uh, it's got the long handle, like a real handle, not just this crappy plastic. And there's the mammoth shield that goes into his hand. Uh, the only problem with this is that, um, like, that one, this one, it just sort of clips. But this one, it just sort of sits in there. It's really loose. It's just really flimsy, see? I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I might be doing it wrong. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. This is the new one. This is the old one. Now, what this is, um, it's, I told you it's just exactly like this, but better. But the reason is because it has a soul. Each each Zord has a soul of Chogo King thing in it. What does that mean? I guess it has something to do with this one. This is, as it says here, Super Robot Chogokin Megazord. Now this is my favorite. And this one is the Megazord, but it's just an action figure. It's not all five Zords combined. It's just an action figure, very poseable action figure. This is meant to be a combination of this one, the five that come together, and this one, which is just an action figure. This is my favorite. 
Because this one is so goddamn poseable, it's so fun. Because you can make poses like this.